I feel like outros and intros are really, really lame, but if you would like to see a review, demo, tutorial, try on, all the whole shebang on the new Born to Run eyeshadow palette, then keep on watching. So, okay. So the palette that we're gonna be using today is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is 24 or 21 shades, and I have to show you guys. Like, can we just... <laughs> um, I am not typically someone that cares for makeup packaging, for packaging, just in general. Um, I, I don't pay much attention to it because really what I'm paying for is what is inside. But you guys, I thought the attention to detail with this packaging just really... I, I just it it made the palette's name and the vision come like just be even more like I can I don't know how to explain it. It's just it puts their inspiration in photos. Like this is what they used when they were thinking of this palette. Um, so you open it up and boom. So off the bat, my eyes are drawn to these four shades right here. Um, so. I know a lot of people say that Urban Decay, like one thing that they've always been missing in one of their palettes was a matte brown. And I think that they did really well with putting in transition shades. So they have, you know, you have some sparkly ones, you have some accent colors, you have a black, you have a matte brown, you have a, you have a, um, a cream color for your brow bone. And then they also have like colors that are just make it easier. So when they say you need one palette to go, I think this is the only palette that you will need. This is probably the best palette Urban Decay has ever come out with. Um, I was watching, oh, Kelly Strack. Kelly Strack did a tutorial, and you guys, I didn't even get past her, her opening this palette before I went to Sephora and Ulta and saw when this palette was dropping, and I was waiting, okay? I was waiting for this. Like, can we just, I die. Magnetically closes. Get out my brushes. My Morphe M441 brush, I'm going to take this color Still Shot. Um, not a lot of fallout, which is nice. You know what? I'm gonna put on tape. No, we can't use tape right foundation on. And we're just going to I feel like I didn't pick up enough of that color. Okay, so off rip, um, I love this shade. I would literally just wear the shade and throw on lashes and be good to go, but we're gonna do something a little colorful, maybe a little purpley. I'm feeling very colorful today. So then I'm going to take help. This is my Morphe M505 brush, and I'm going to take Hellride. And we're gonna use that more in our crease, like the line of our crease. Ooh, sis. I love this color already. You really wanna keep it right in there. And I noticed too. Um, how you can figure out like where your crease is is to keep your eye open and to run the brush in windshield wiper motions in your crease. I'm using a kind of like a pointed brush there. You can see it right in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> it's a little pointed. It helps keep the color where you want it to be. We're gonna really build this color up. I definitely am a purple girl when it comes to eyeshadow. 
My arms hurt already. <sighs> Still using Hellride. I'm just really focusing it right now. Oops, sorry. Take the one that I use still shot in, and I'm just because I get this like weird crease right here, it really bothers me. Then I'm going to take the Coastal Scents BRC N06 brush, which is a little bit smaller, a little bit more dense, and we're going to take Punk and leave it on the outer V. It's look a little patchy to me, so we are just taking Punk right in here. For this part, I decided to do a voiceover because I was so focused, uh, I forgot to talk anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my Maybelline concealer and with an angle brush from Real Techniques and I'm just carving out my crease and I noticed that keeping my eye kind of half open helps me see my crease and it was much, much easier to do this with this small angled brush, so definitely use a small, small brush for this. Even a lip brush would work. I was so focused during this part that I just was talking too slow for my own liking and it was irritating me. So I'm just taking this flat brush, it has no product on it, and I'm just blending out the concealer on the eye just to make sure that it's even before we apply the color on top to set it. Yeah. Nobody understands. We're just taking Weekender and we're going to put that right over the concealer to set it. Back in with sh still shot, I'm going to Blend the concealer in. Oh, yes, sis. Oh. Since we're going to take the Morphe, really? Like, this Morphe brush and we're going to take still shot. I'm just going to pack it on in front of Hunk and Hellride to kind of smooth out the tr transition between all the colors because Jaclyn Hill said no harsh lines. And I'm going back in with my Morphe Tapered Color and Hell Right. We're going to... Oh yes. Just add a little bit more color right around 
here. And I might add just a little bit more warmth underneath the still shot. I'm just kind of trying to get the colors to where I like them and they're warm enough so you don't look like you got punched in the face. Then I'm going back in the Coastal Scents brush and I'm taking Punked and we're going to place it right in here and deepen up that outer corner. And then we're gonna mix Punked and Hell Ride. And we're going to push it right where my outer corner is. Oh yeah, I'm so obsessed. Oh, I love it. And then I'm just going to take this clean Sephora Pro Crease Brush and I'm just going to blend. no fallout with this palette. Like, none. It's so crazy. I knew, I knew, I knew. You already said it, you already said it. Yeah, I know. Just want to do should we do hell ride underneath okay yeah we're gonna take hell ride and we're going to run that under oh yeah wow i got my contacts um definitely have to clean this up <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely you have to add still shot underneath or else it'll be a little too purpley. Oh you guys, I'm so excited, I love it! Okay, our lashes are on. Yay. Taking still shot and right around here where we may have lost some warmth, we're gonna put it right back. And then we're going to take Hell Ride. And I'm gonna be a little bit more sloppy because we got our lashes on. And we can be, and I'm just going to darken it up around her. And then taking the brush we used for punk. I'm just gonna I'm gonna drop everything today. Oh my god. And we're just going to Make it a little smidgen darker in here because I don't think I want to use liner. I feel like I might want to, but <laughs> yes. You guys, I haven't loved a look in so long, but I love this one. Let's just take, I don't want, because I don't want to have to use an actual eyeliner. We're going to take Jet on a flat brush. And I'm just going to very, very lightly keep it right in here. Like, don't let it go past where your eye starts. Because I just want it to give that illusion that, you know, my lashes are thicker than they are. <laughs> I NYX eye and an eyebrow pencil. It's crazy you could use this for your brows. I don't know why anybody would. And we are just going to tight line the upper part. And if you find this gross, just look away. I absolutely love this. And to be honest, you don't have to have this palette. I do understand that it's expensive. Um, just if you have, you can, I'm sure you could create something similar with the um, Too Faced, no, Modern Renaissance palette, but I wanted to try this one. So then we're just gonna take Breakaway on a little 
Real Techniques. What is the Real Techniques called? This. What are my eyes? Lip brush. <laughs> well, we're not using it for our lips, and I'm going to put it right in the middle. To give us some And like if you have green eyes or brown eyes or seriously like any eyes would look any color eyes would look good with this. Every this will suit every eye color. <laughs> How rude. I'm just going to say this. Let's zoom out. Um y'all need this. Everybody needs this. There is just, there's like not one color in here that I don't like. Just not one. I love purples, I love greens, peach. Like you can do so much with this, so I'm going to say everyone needs one. If you can afford this, go buy it. If you want this palette, definitely save up for it because it is a splurge. I do believe it is $49. Here, let me check on Ulta. Let's see what Ulta says about it so we can compare. Okay. So this is $49. Urban Decay is cruelty free. I love. Made from Beauty's mind-blowing formula that gives each shade a velvety texture, rich color, and blendability. Born to Run eyeshadows, shades hold tightly onto pigment and stays put. I see no lies. The reviews, it has almost all five stars. I'm about to leave a comment. This is my YouTube channel, follow me. I have always wanted to visit Greece, so this picture right here is probably my favorite but it's a need guys I'm so obsessed if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up because I would love it and leave me a comment down below just cuz you feel like it who wouldn't want to leave a comment as long as it's nice I'm all hate because you love me and I love you too.